In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 14 Station The Resurrection of Jesus Christ We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew After the Sabbath, towards dawn, the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to visit the sepulcher. And all at once, there was a violent earthquake. For the angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His face was like lightning. His robe white. His robe white as snow. The guards were so shaken and so frightened of him that they were like dead men. But the angel spoke and said to the women, There is no need for you to be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here for his reason. As he said he would come and see the place where he lay then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and now he is going before you to Galilee it is there where you will see him filled with awe and great joy the women went quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples and there coming to meet them was Jesus greetings he said and the women came up to him and pulled him down before him clasped his feet and Jesus said to them do not be afraid go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee they will see me there the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection Our hearts throb so differently when we meet good old friends. We smile so sweetly when we gaze upon a person we love. Jesus is risen from the dead. Is there a greater joy than this? In life and in death, Jesus was obedient to the will of God. How about us? Is the direction of our lives leading us to God? And is it according to the path shown to us by Jesus? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, after three days you came to life again. Your resurrection has become the stronghold of our faith. Your resurrection witnesses to the truth that you have saved us from our sinfulness through your death. Because of this, you have offered us the way to the Father. You have opened, you have opened for us the gate of heaven. Help us, dear Jesus, so that we can carry our own crosses with faith and courage. Let us make your life alive in our own so that all men and women will see that your passion and crucifixion have not been in vain. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginnings, now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray the closing prayer. Lord Jesus, after he will reflect on your passion, death, and resurrection, through this devotion called the Way of the Cross, we feel sorrow for our sins which have caused you pain. We thank you, Lord, for being our Savior. We give you thanks, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiving heart. We give you thanks, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, for preaching your love in word and in deed. 
we give you thanks, O Lord. Guide and lead us, Lord, to life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses against us. Sin against us, do not bring us to the test, but save us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and it will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.